The general consensus is that the best way to place your stingless beehive is so that it receives morning sun and then is shaded for the rest of the day. And a little later in the day, you can see that that's indeed the case with this hive here. I try and make sure all hives have shade by about 8.30 or 9 in the morning. It can be a little later when the sun is lower in the sky in winter, but definitely in summer. Um, in any climate that's warm enough to keep stingless bees, you do not want them in the sun in the middle of the day. I mean, there are newer hives. Bob Luttrell's got a great one inspired by some of the Brazilian designs, and there's some other ones floating around. Mine's slightly, I use slightly thicker wood uh, than normal, so mine's perhaps a little bit better than the traditional oath in terms of heat resistance, but you really want to keep them out of the sun if you can. There's also the school of thought that says they should face northeast or north. This, I think it's mainly come from honeybee keepers because that's very common with honeybees. And when I did keep honeybees, I faced all my hives northeast. Doesn't seem to be an issue with stingless bees and I've heard other beekeepers say it doesn't matter. This hive here is facing east just because that's the best position for it right here. But then if I move just to my left, This hive that I also faced east decided to block up its main entrance and instead uses the rear vent hole, which faces directly west. So yeah, it does not seem to be an issue with stingless bees at all. Face them whatever way, just make sure they have that shade from about 8.30, 9 o'clock onwards. And if you are made to choose, always take shade in preference to that morning sun. This hive here is in shade all day. It does get some dappled afternoon sunlight. But that morning sun really can be an advantage in winter, but really not that important. The reason stingless bees really struggle with this temperature control is they, they will regulate their hive temperature, but they just aren't as good at it as honeybees. A lot of people are used to honeybees and the, the recommendation that they actually be in full sun. You just can't do that with stingless bees. They'll move some air through the hive. They do have ways of cooling it down. You'll see them lined up all over the front of the hive, moving that air through, but they can't do the evaporative cooling that honeybees can do to really lower the temperature of the hive. And so they need either a really well insulated hive, like this one here that's kept in dappled shade, or to be in full shade all day to keep that heat out of the hive. Uh, incidentally, this hive you're seeing here is one of the earliest designs I ever used with my grandfather as a child. It's actually a, a hollow log cut up into sections with dividers and then bolted or screwed together. Um, very horrible design for working with, but that's what we, we used back in the day. And they are very well insulated. So this is one that for a time was out in full sun and did okay. But with the increase in practicality that comes with using a smaller, lighter hive with thinner walls, comes a reduced insulation or a reduced level of insulation so most hives that most people use nowadays can't be placed in full sun as I said at the beginning of the video there are some exceptions and more and more are coming out every day but if you've got a standard probably an oath hive uh, you don't want to have it in that full sun all day make sure the bees have fairly clear access to the entrance of the hive and of course you might want to place the entrance of the hive where it's easily observed uh, they are very interesting creatures. This hive entrance actually is surrounded by kadagi seeds. Quite a controversial tree, but I've found it to be a really good resource for the bees for resin. So perhaps I'll make a video on that at some stage. Something else that's often suggested is to place the hive up off the ground, which enables the bees to take flight a little easier. I always do keep my hives off the ground, as you can see in this picture, but not by much. Just a little, a besser brick or something to put them on. Um, just enables them easy access in and out and if anything falls down in front of the hive it's not going to block the entrance. There was a time when I did keep hives up on star pickets but it only took one accident, one rotted box for me to never do that again. Um, it's a long way for a hive to fall. I've never had issues with ants. That was my thinking when I did the star pickets but I've never really had issues with ants, not with healthy hives. So I don't bother with that anymore. I just go the, the best of brick on the ground method. I hope this video has been useful to you in some way and can perhaps help you in your stingless beekeeping journey. Have a good one.